Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? Woo, woo. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Man, oh man, oh man, I feel like I'm coming down with something and I so want you guys to send me healing energy, to send me healing prayers, man. Because, yeah, I don't want to come down with anything. It's just boring. <laughs> it's boring to not be well. <laughs> I don't like it much. So I generally don't tend to have patience with myself. I expect my body to perform and get back to full health in three seconds flat, actually. So... <laughs> It is your duty to pray. <laughs> okay, so I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight, and this is the Deliberate Life Stream. And we're talking about being ourselves, being ourselves, be loving ourselves, all of that kind of stuff that most people try to avoid, actually. And for a long time, I would have just kind of rolled my eyes at that. Yes, love yourself. <laughs> love yourself, all you, I don't know what, <laughs> people. <laughs> But now I know better, and hopefully you'll know better too soon. This, there, it is absolutely essential. It's critical that we love ourselves. Sometimes we, we just, we take, uh, I don't know, we don't, we don't do enough to care for ourselves. We care for everything and every single other person out there, and we don't care enough for ourselves. And, and the truth of the matter is, again, coming back to a place, to come, coming back to a place of talking about prosperity and abundance and fulfillment and freedom, you're never going to experience any of that stuff if you're not yourself. And guess what? You can't be yourself if you don't love yourself. A lot of people avoid themselves because they don't actually really like themselves, really. And so they cloak this dislike, this self-dislike or self-unlike or unlove by, you know, caring for everybody else, giving away every single thing, being everything to everybody else, just so they never really have to face themselves. We cannot be those people anymore. We have to be deliberate people who choose to love ourselves, who choose to care for who we are internally. And you know what? It can start with a simple, simple, simple exercise which is simply to look at yourself in the eye. I read this in a book, actually, some book somewhere. I love me. I love me. It's like I'm looking myself in the eye right now. I love you. I love you, Rosemary. I love you, Rosemary. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and it, and it's, it's simply saying something like that to yourself consistently until it takes root. That can start to shift things. It's paying attention to where you feel resistance to that idea and actually choosing to do the internal work to clear that from you. Honey, we all, our, abundance really is our divine heritage. It is our birthright. But you don't get to claim it whilst you're trying to be everything to everybody, whilst you're, you're pretending that everything is fine when everything isn't fine, when you're doing all the crazy stuff that people do, basically just to avoid having to look inside of themselves, distract themselves with all kinds of drugs or drink or food or work or anything but look at themselves and you know what we cannot again we can't live that way we can't live that way I'm gonna sing this affirmation to you so that you start taking it on board okay share 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 man and tell me where you're streaming in from I want to know ah, do I remember it I choose to love myself I choose to be myself I choose to love myself Very simple. Can you do that? You should do it wherever you are. Do it now. I choose to be myself for today okay we live in a world where actually it's really hard to be yourself it's really hard I don't know if you, it's again because I was that person like I was a pharmacist professional you know you don't talk about things like loving yourself it just all sounds too weak and flimsy except if you're in some kind of AA meeting or something basically but the truth of the matter is that yeah we do live in a world that demands that you almost like blend in and become the same as everybody else you know and there is no prosperity in that there is no Abundance, there is no fulfillment at all in that. There is just quiet pain. 
And lots of people walking around quietly hurting, but trying to ignore it. Lots of people. Especially those ones that have the, the most confident faces on their bodies. I used to be that person, basically. I looked the part. But deep down inside of me, there was a heck of a lot of hurt. A heck of a lot of hurt that I didn't want to have to handle. A lot of stuff I didn't want to have to deal with. And it's that stuff that keeps you away from your destiny. It's that stuff that most people don't want to stare at. Even as I'm speaking about it now, I know that for most people it's like, either you're really, really doing all the work, and maybe you're not doing enough of the physical work, or you're doing all the work and you feel like nothing is working. Maybe because you're not quite facing some of the deeper parts and you don't want to work with somebody else to help you <laughs> sort it out. Or you're just that person that thinks, please, talk about something like, you know, communicating and capturing and sending blogs out and getting people on my Facebook page or list or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and the truth of the matter is you can't even love properly. You can't even love other people properly if you're not coming from a place of love yourself, or loving yourself, okay? It, it gets in the way of so many different things. We're just not so aware of it. We're not, or we try not to be aware of it until you kind of get to the end of your life and you wonder what on earth you did with it and you did nothing because you dare did not dare to face you so this is probably going to be short i just want to exhort you encourage you to do whatever it takes to figure your internal craziness out i'm not saying we're going to spend all of our days navel gazing because you know what if i spend all of my days navel gazing you'll you'd never see me uh, this page wouldn't be here my business wouldn't exist so it's not about navel gazing forever but there are some people, and I used to be that person, we would always defer to doing the work, working our asses off, crazy, this is the physical work, and there's nothing wrong with the physical work, except when you do it to the exclusion of looking at what is going on inside of you. Because you will find at some point, you will find that either you are incredibly unhappy, or you hit a ceiling and you cannot get past it. You cannot work hard enough to get higher. And it's because it isn't just about the physical work. It isn't just about the physical work. Yes, do it. But it's not just about the physical work. And if you keep trying to make it just about the physical work, you will always be slightly scared. And one of the other things is that you're too scared not to work really hard because if you don't work really hard, you think you're going to lose everything. So there's no trust. There's no, there's no peace. There's no peace. Honey, you got to handle your internal stuff, okay? In order for you to own up to who you are, as I said, we live in a world where people just want to blend in and people just want to, well, in this community, we can't just try and bury ourselves in work. But if you're going to really live abundantly, if you're going to really experience fullness, you're going to have to do the internal work. You're going to have to choose to look inside of you and where you might off the cuff just say, ah, I love myself. It doesn't matter. I tell you, it's probably a lie. It's probably a lie take some time to actually stare at what's going on inside of you. Take some time to work out that stuff. Most people are really scared of that stuff. It's easier to do the physical work because then you don't have to face anything. I still remember working with a coach once and asking her, um, it's, so the only thing I need to do is the work. Just tell me how much work I need to do so that I can get through. And she's just like, honey, it's not just about the work. <laughs> it's not just about the physical work. It's also the other stuff that you're trying to cloak by doing all of the physical work. That is the work as well in order for you to reach the fullness that you want. Anyway, I'm going to sing this affirmation one last time and bring this to a close. <sighs> Breathe with me. I choose to be myself I choose to love myself I choose to be myself I choose to love myself And again I choose to be myself I choose to love myself Okay, there's a video at the top of the page, a video called Four Simple Steps to 
fun fulfilled to your fun fulfilled abundant and free life it's at the top of the page you need to scroll up to the top of the page and actually go watch that thing it's you need, yeah you're gonna have to watch the whole thing <laughs> okay you need to stop living for just the weekend and actually start doing what you want when you want and that will give you tips and tricks to actually make that happen so scroll all the way up to the top of the page and go watch it i will put the link around this afterwards but for right now that's what you need to do next okay so right now pop up to the top click on that video <laughs> watch it all the way through i know it's long but you will have such insights into your life into what is holding you back into like i i'll tell you the story of how i came out from being a pharmacist into rec more than replacing my full-time income as a pharmacist and becoming a business owner that might be something you're interested in ha yeah all of that stuff is in that video so go watch it right now okay go watch it it's at the top of the page it's pinned to the top I'll put the link around it when I'm done here. Okay, until the next time, my honeys. Much amazing love. Have a great rest of your day. We are off. Which is going to be cool. We're off to somewhere else in the UK. Okay, then. Much love. Speak to you soon.